Okay, so we're back with the second match. And before we go into the Grand Arena, I got a few questions last time on, uh, on my unlock of General Skywalker. So I'll briefly cover that before we move over to the, uh, to the off offense stage. Um, so I did manage to unlock and uh, I got a question on what squads I used to unlock it. And uh, it took me a few hours because uh, mostly they were undersized squads. I had a total of three G13 characters. Um, I had a Kenobi who was G13 with a G11 C3PO and, uh, and the other was G12. Um, that one took me a few hours. In fact, uh, the second phase was tougher for me than the fourth phase. It took me about, uh, I think, three or four hours to, to get the, uh, the puzzle right. But I enjoyed that phase more than the, uh, the fourth phase, which I spent about two hours in. And uh, I ended up having to give a Zeta to Droidica and get my B1 uh, battle droid up to relic level 3. He was already at G13, but I had to invest some relic levels, which I did uh, very hesitantly. But uh, <clears throat> but uh, once I got the relic levels up, it took me just five minutes to 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 complete that level. So more RNG in the fourth level. Uh, second one was more puzzle-like, which I really enjoyed more. But uh, but yeah, finally managed to get the uh, the unlock. Um, and uh, as I mentioned in my last uh, video, I do have the shards, the uh, the currency saved up for uh, for Jedi Knight. Uh, for um, for General Skywalker, um, I have uh, I'm about halfway there. I've got about hundred uh, shards so far. I need to get hundred and eighty total in order to unlock him. And I still have uh, I'm I'm planning to get him unlocked by uh, the start of the next Grand Arena season or next Grand Arena week, which is week three. So I think in a in a couple of days, hopefully, I should be there. Um, so as you can see over here, I'm a I'm a hoarder. I love to to hold currency until I find uh, a character um, that I like, and then I invest all in on it. That's basically how I unlocked Wampa as well. I had all my, uh, if you remember correctly, uh, Hermit Yoda was the one, first one who was released with Guild Event currency. I didn't spend on him right away. I uh, hoarded about fifty, sixty k of it, and then when Wampa was released, I unlocked him within three or four days. Um, just because I loved his kit much more than Hermit Yoda. Ultimately, I went back and got Hermit Yoda, but first finished Wampa. Uh, and I liked that I had uh, you know, enough currency saved to make that choice. I'm doing the same thing with Negotiator as well. Um, I have about 47k of Get2 currency saved up. And I'm waiting to see Malevolence because I'm sure that Malevolence is going to be requiring Get2 currency as well. Especially after what they pulled with General Skywalker requiring the same currency as Malak. So I'm going to wait to see that kit see if i like it and then straight away take uh, either the negotiator or the malevolence directly to to six stars um so that's uh, that's my plan all right um let's uh, so in terms of uh, gearing itself i'm currently stuck in gear 10 for uh, general skywalker uh, but i do have enough gear saved up to take him directly to g13 um i'm just uh, waiting for one or two pieces over here um, but once I get those, I should be able to, and once I have the uh, the uh, stars ready, I uh, should be able to get him directly to G13, uh, after which I do have enough uh, relic pieces saved up um, to take him directly to R7. And that's the reason I did not want to invest in relic for the event itself, because I wanted to save all my relic to directly max uh, um, Jedi, General uh, Skywalker, because... Uh, he really shines when uh, he's surrounded by 501st clones and he's at R7, fully reliced up. Um, you know, it, it makes it a really formidable team from what I'm seeing. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and uh, start a Grand Arena match. My opponent this time is Statut Rory from the uh, ANZGC Guild, which is an Australia-New Zealand guild, although they do have a, a couple of guilds in their uh, alliance uh, um, with players in the US. Uh, really good player, um, pretty formidable, 5.1, so about uh, 400k more than me in GP. Uh, I'm about 4.7 right now, and it's got a really good characters uh, leveled up. He's got uh, Han Solo, Ma Grandmaster Yoda, and General Grievous, and uh, Old Daka at, uh, at level 5, even Bosk, and he's got Anakin at, at relic level 7. So formidable team, uh, really good uh, speeds as well on, on all these guys. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, and jump right into the attack phase. 
a quick overview of my defenses. <clears throat> so my opponent has gone before me and he's one shot all of my teams with an average of about 55 banners per match. Uh, and I set a pretty tough defense, so I'm pretty, uh, pretty impressed by the uh, efficiency that, uh, that my opponent has had. Um, so I had a prepared squad over here. I had a Evox with a really fast nest, a 318 speed nest, I think. Um, both were one shot, uh, no problem there. I had a, my CLS squad with R2 this time and my my Jedi, my Jedi Darth Revan team over here with Malik this time. I decided to keep Malik on uh, on defense. And at the back, uh, uh, I kept my Jedi Knight uh, Anakin uh, along with my Jedi uh, Revan team. Um, pulled Grandmaster Yoda off to use with my Padme. And I kept my Ahsoka with uh, Chakti and clones. I uh, just thought there might be some extra fire for synergy. Both these teams were no problem for my opponent. Um, similarly, at the back over here, I kept a newt squad with, uh, with the rest of the Separatists. Um, B1, um, Droidica, Magna Guard, and with Dooku. And I kept a, um, a, a Bounty Hunter squad with B2 in it. <clears throat> so both these teams weren't a problem, um, but I think he might have lost a few banners in some of these back teams, or at least the tougher teams. Uh, which is why I've got 55. So a lot of pressure on me to uh, <clears throat> to basically, <coughs> excuse me, um, one shot all of his teams. Um, and he set some, some pretty tough teams as well. So I need to be really um, uh, careful about how I approach my offense. I can't afford to go below 55 banners on average. Um, this section over here is relatively weaker. So I think I'm going to start with, uh, with this one. And then uh, I'm going to hope for, I'm going to, uh, hope for 60 banners on average. So as you can see over here, he doesn't have Darth Revan in the front, which me makes me think that given the efficiency with which he's taken out my defenses, he must have kept Darth Revan, Jedi Knight Revan, and all his best teams on offense. So I had initially saved the, uh, I usually save the crew team for uh, Darth Revan cleanup, but uh, um, I decided to, I, I think I'll go ahead and use, a, use them over here for the uh, Karth cleanup. <clears throat> so I'm going to stun Juhani so that she doesn't cleanse anyone and then uh, um, use the AOV to call everyone and uh, get uh, Candrus to, uh, to go down first. He's going to start taunting. All right. Dispel. So I need to get uh, um, healing immunity on Candra so that he doesn't heal. Uh, give this to him. Um, let's stun. Uh, let's save our stun for now. And let's wait for a dispel. All right, there's a dispel. So that's the reason I did not, uh, I used my basic on Candra so that he did not heal. And uh, I did not have to go with the, um, I did not have to, uh, you know, get him down below 50% health again. Let's go with mission. All right, let's keep working on these guys. Uh, let's give this to this guy. Keep the taunt on crew. Um, let's dispel this offense up. And keep working on them. Let's dispel it and try to get rid of uh, that guy. All right. Assist on mission, not yet. We have three minutes and I'm hoping to uh, end with full health and full protection. I'm gonna use a basic over here to keep the taunt on. And I'm gonna give this to uh, someone who needs it. The first order, uh, uh, there we go. So that is, so that one is down, mission is down. Now I just need to focus on getting some banners back, which uh, could get tricky, but uh, I think uh, I think we have enough time. Zalbar does give a lot of uh, um, opportunity to regain banners. We've got uh, 
three characters below full protection. So I'm going to give some banners back to at least a first order stormtrooper to get him to um, reach full protection and full health because this match is going to be an efficiency match. There's going to be a lot of a uh, lot of emphasis on uh, on efficiency. So I need to be extra careful about it. I don't think I'll end up with full health, full protection. I think it's probably going to be 57 banners, which is um, unfortunate. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I uh, don't know what else I can do about it. All right, um, 57, so just two above the average that we need. Um, let's see what we want to take against the Kira team. I can go with my, mm, my JTR squad uh, and, uh, and see if I can... Uh, Try to recover some banners at least. Yeah, I think I'll go in with this squad, which is uh, which has got enough damage. It's got uh, it's got protection recovery in the form of BB-8 as well as T3M4, and it's got the ability to prevent uh, buffs from landing, which is going to be important for both Vandor as well as uh, um, as well as I think. Uh, let's see who else is there got Newt as well, we've got Randor, we've got L3. This is going to be a tough team and it's meant to be uh, reducing our banners. So I think I'll go in with this one and see how this team does. <clears throat> All right, let's first clear this and we have landed a daze, which is great. Now I'm not going to do this because uh, as uh, the moment I hit it, then um, L3 is going to dispel debuffs on on um, on someone so I'm going to avoid that for now and just go after L3 directly uh, Rando directly and get rid of him and now I need to work on um, Potentially Kira. Ooh, this is not good. And L3 is, uh, T3 is down. Okay, now Kira is down. Uh, let me uh, land a daze on Enfys and work on Newt. So that's the problem with Newt. He, uh, <clears throat> the banner recovery is extremely tough with him. Maybe I should have gone with... Uh, maybe I should have gone with uh, Thrawn in there for the fracture. Mm. Alright, nothing much we can do about it. Uh, let's try to get rid of... Uh, Newt. And he's going to go again with a bonus turn. And I think I'll have to... Ooh, I'll have to get rid of uh, Nest over here. Because, um, yeah, I'm going to lose IPD in any case. And... Uh, Yep, might as well uh, get her useful a little bit. Um, so yeah, so that was unfortunate, but, uh, and I lost two of them. T3M4 would have been really nice for banner recovery as well. 52 banners, so on average, I'm about one below, plus two, minus three. But uh, let's see what's at the back. I have a feeling my opponent has weak teams at the back, which I may be able to use to recover some banners. I think I should have gone with Thrawn and this team to, uh, for the fracture and the additional protection recovery, I think that would have been uh, helpful. <clears throat> All right. Um, so at the back we have uh, geos, so relatively weak geos. So we can use uh, we can use our Treya for that, and then we have uh, um, clones over here, um, and clones with Rex lead with the uh, Zeta on fives. Practical awareness. All right, so I need to kill fives first. All right, so we can uh, 
I think we've we've got enough uh, tunes for that. Now let's uh, first clear this zone over here. So this is one. This is the one I'm really nervous about because um, I don't know if I have uh, any team to one shot Grievous. I don't have my Jedi Knight Revan, which I kept on defense. I don't have Darth Revan, and uh, let's see. All right, let's uh, let's go in uh, with the. Um, Let's go in against the sisters first, and it's a pretty hefty, uh, well-modded sister team. I mean, look at the Daka, 105k health with 290 speed. So that's uh, pretty formidable. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take in my Wampa over there, because I really like the the days. Um, and I'm going to go in with, uh, with Watt. Um, and the reason for that is I want to give the weapons tech to Wampa, so that when he kills an, a sister... She can't be revived. Um, that's going to help uh, with uh, with because Daka is extremely survivable here, and we want to prevent Daka from reviving anyone. It's going to be a while before Daka is down, so um, I'm going to use Watt against his sisters over here, and hopefully with Basti lead, I'm able to recover some amount of banners. All right, so let's give this let's give the uh, weapon stick to Wampa first. And then let's give the master's training to Wampa. Days, all right, that's good. <clears throat> and then let's give the uh, the shield generator to our tank Johani, so that she ends up taunting. All right, now let's pass this around to Wampa, so he can start creating some havoc. Uh, let's get rid of. Uh, thousand because I don't want any health loss now she's not going to come back uh, because there was the weapons mod tech on Wampa which prevented the revive similarly let's do that to spirit um, let's see if we can't stun her and uh, let's give the recovery to the med pack to I don't know this can go on anyone maybe Wamp maybe uh, Hermit Yoda all right, let's uh, now the battle is in control. Let's land above the immunity. Um, let's get rid of uh, a Sarge. There we go. Almost one shot, uh, old Daka. All right, so this was a, a very simple uh, match. <clears throat> um, yeah, there's no issue here. But it was a relict Night Sister team, and I didn't want to take a meta team against it. So sixty banners against a Night Sister team is is good enough. Um, yep. Okay, so uh, that is taken care of. Let's see what to do against the uh, the General Grievous team. I think we can take in uh, my own sisters against it. It's uh, it's been a while since I've used sisters against uh, Grievous, um, but I think. Uh, I think uh, they might be able to survive. My Daka is 95k health, although I should relic her up. Um, and uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see if the sisters are able to do the job. Um, I'm going to take in Talia over here to uh, just for an additional cleanse. Um, although Spirit really hits hard, I'm more bothered about uh, cleanse. And I want someone who will die easily so that uh, stacks of health get, um, get stacked up on Daka. But... Uh, but let's take this in and see how these guys do against Grievous. I'm going to dispel everyone first, and I'm going to go after a Battle Droid B2. I got lucky. Grievous got uh, stunned. Uh, let's keep on Battle Droid. Um, let's attack this guy. And this should take care of him. Now the big, big hit from him. And uh, all the revives are done. Uh, but I'm going to use basic a little bit to uh, try to get uh, Daka's uh, health uh, up. So I think we are all at full health, full protection, full health still. But I'm just going to keep using the basic for a little more while. And uh, let's see. Uh, 
little more basic. I'm purposely attacking Droidica, who's got the damage immunity. She's gonna hit, uh, Droidica is gonna hit zombie anyway, so that's fine. Um, all right. Um, let's, uh, let's keep going basic again. Basic again. And let's target this one. Basic again. All right. Oh, that was close. All right. Uh, so this is going to be have to be a cleanup. Not good. Not good. Um, yeah, well, I didn't have anything left to clean uh, Grievous. So this is going to have to be a double shot. And that will make the battles at the back really, really close. Um, because we lost 20 banners right over there. Okay, what do we have to clean up Grievous? Mm -hmm. We have our own Grievous. We might have to go undersized with that guy. Um, we have uh, Treya. We have Padme. Mm. All right, I think I'm just going to go in with... Um, Let's see, what do we have? So he's going to dispel all debuffs, so I need someone who can um, reduce his turn meter. Mm. And I need to get in a fracture in there. So let's... Uh, yeah, so... What's, what's going to end up happening is Grievous is going to be below 100% health and he's going to end up cleansing all the debuffs from himself, which means that uh, these guys, the Empire guys, are going to get tons of uh, turn meter. I can get in Tarkin, who also reduces turn meter. Thrawn for the Fracture. Um, and uh, Vader and Palp to apply debuffs. This should, uh, this should get the job done. All right. Um, yeah, that was unfortunate. Okay, let's fracture him. And uh, all these debuffs are going to end up uh, giving plenty of turn meter to the team. Let's reduce some more turn meter. Uh, let's give this to someone with uh, high turn meter so that we can fracture him again. So as you can see over here, all these debuffs which are expiring on him end up giving uh, tons of uh, turn meter to our team. And we are able to uh, keep Grievous in check because we don't want him to take a turn. 41. All right, so this was unfortunate. We have to do some math to see uh, what we need to take against the teams at the back. All right, um, let's let's do some quick math. We are at 1290 right now. So in clearing the zones, we're gonna get, uh, um, we're gonna get a seven, 360 points. So that's gonna make it uh, 16. 50, which means uh, in order to reach 1883, we need about 58.25. So we'll need to we need up we need to do our best to get at least 60 banners on each of these. So this this uh, now things are getting interesting. Uh, we need to get at least 60 banners on all of these, hoping for 61 and above because some of these teams uh, may be problematic. But uh, but let's uh, let's see if we can't undersize a few of these. And try to get at least 60 on uh, on some of these. Okay, so bugs, let's take in Treya and uh, and take care of them. Wait, what teams do we have?
So it looks like we have a Padme team, we have uh, troopers, we have bugs, which I can use against clones, and we have Treya, which I can use against um, against the... Yeah, we have Treya that we can use against the uh, the bugs. Okay, and we have a lone Grievous, but I don't know if I want to throw the lone Grievous against... Uh, against evox those guys can reduce turn meter um all right let's uh so the clones don't have baddest so i think i should be able to uh yeah only 30k health on fives so i think uh with this one i should be able to go in with my with my um geos and uh, undersized for a victory over here. Let's uh, let's see if these guys do the job. Yeah, they don't have much damage, so I think uh, I think we'll be fine. All right, let's uh, let's save the heal for now. And yep, fives is gone. So now it's going to be uh, no big deal. Let's get rid of this guy. He does AOEs. So um, I should get at least 57 banners because um, because these guys are not at full protection. Damn. Okay, um, that's fine. 57. So um, we're getting pretty close. We're about two below where we need to be so we need to get at least 61 in some of these matches uh, i don't know if that's going to be possible because um, uh, all right let's uh let's just go in with treya against these guys and i have to go in with uh, with just these three um in order to recover banners it's a relatively weaker uh, bugs team um so hopefully they shouldn't be able to one shot um let's just use a basic for now uh, reduced cooldown from Nihilus. Okay. All right. Um, where's Spy? Hiding. Okay. Um, soldier, let me just dispel this from soldier, the offense up. All right, let's hope this can get rid of them. All right, now we just have to uh, get some, no, we're not going to be able to recover all the protection, but let's see how much we'll get. Um, let's get rid of Cobble. <clears throat> so we're going to get, so it's a, uh, 64 for uh, one person, 63 for two, 62 for uh, for three people with full health and full protection. So I'm going to probably end up with exactly 60 banners because two of them are under uh, uh, under full health. Okay, so 60 banners exactly. So we're running pretty uh, pretty close to where we need to be. Um, let's uh, let's do some math again to see exactly how many points we need in the last two zones. Because I think we can uh, definitely do something interesting over here to uh, to take these guys out. Uh, 1587, 1882, 1587. All right, so it turns out that we need exactly 58 banners in... Um, in both these matches to uh, to end up uh, with uh, with a victory so um, this is what we're going to do the tougher team over here is uh, MP um, and since they rely uh, heavily on debuffs I'll take in my Padme team over there yeah Padme is the best team I have um, I'll take in my Padme and we'll probably go in undersized um, who all do we have there? We've got um, 
Mm, we've got some big hitters there. Mm, got Sid Marauder. He is more for damage. All right. <clears throat> we've got no tank, so I should be able to get rid of uh, Marauder and uh, and uh, Dooku first. I'm wondering if I should go in with full five. Nah, there's no way I'm gonna end up with fifty-eight banners if I go in with full five. Um, all right, let me uh, let me get rid of uh, Barris. So Master Grandmaster Yoda at least has some synergy with c 3 in the sense that all the buffs that he gives out, it's uh, going to be added up as bonus protection, which is going to again prevent um, debuffs from landing. So my team, I think the Vader is going to go first. No protection recovery though. Mm. All right, let's just uh, let's just take this in and see what happens. Oh, that's lucky. <clears throat> My Vader did not go first. Uh, their Vader did not go first. So that means I'll need to. I'll need to somehow make sure that uh, full protection is on these guys at all times. All right, let me uh, call everyone to assist on Marauder. And see if I can't take him down. Uh, basic. All right. So far, so good. Um, let's go with Palp. Uh, let's uh, let's apply this on Palp. Some more buffs. Uh, let's. Uh, Let's do this. And let's hide Yoda. Uh, let's reduce it again. And mass assist, get rid of palp, all right. Uh, great, so some more uh, protection up on everyone. So my Yoda has completely lost all protection. Uh, let's call in uh, everyone to assist on Dooku. Now, because it's an assist, he's not going to um, um, counter. If it was directly attacking him, he would have countered. So I'm going to go in with... Uh, almost got him. Okay, this should finish him. Now, uh, 21 stacks. Um, that should get rid of him. Uh, let's reduce some turn meter. So, I think my Yoda is... Uh, I don't know how he lost protection. I don't remember who hit him, but uh, we should get at least 60 banners over here. 59. Oh. All right. So, I think as long as we get uh, 57 banners, we win the match against Evox. All right. Evox. Um, I should take in my troopers against these guys, and uh, and that's a guaranteed 60. Um, and they look relatively weak. Let's see how fast the Paplu is, 188. Okay, I think... Uh, I think the troopers might be able to do a decent job against these guys. Low gray. So here's what I'm debating. Um, I either take my troopers in there, or I take my solo Grievous. Um, I have no idea <laughs> how well uh, a solo Grievous does against Evox, um, but I know that troopers can get 60 pretty easily. Um, so yeah, let's just go with the safe option because we want the victory. All right, let's, uh, let's just take in the troopers over here and finish these guys off. No point risking undersized and all of that. Uh, let's go in with Wicket first. He seems to be the weakest. weakest. Um, then let's uh, go for Elder. There we go. All right, simple enough. 60 banners and looks like we won the match by two or three banners, I think.
1886 four banners so pretty tight victory um but uh, but yeah it finally came down to an efficiency match usually uh, i i don't really play an efficiency game because i tend to set such hard defense that i can relax a little bit on offense but this was a this was a different uh, kind of game for me so i really enjoyed that all the calculations to make sure that i uh, you know get the exact number of banners in there and this was i, th I think a very satisfactory victory because despite the fact that i i lost and had to go in with two battles against grievous i still managed to pull off a victory with just four banners so that was a uh, that was a uh, uh, pretty uh, pretty satisfying um, so yeah, that's uh, that's the end of this match. Um, but kudos to my opponent; he really one shot all of my teams. And I thought that I had set a really tough defense, but um, but yeah, I mean they did a really good job with the with maintaining a, a one shot everywhere. So good match, something I really enjoyed. And uh, and yeah, I'm I'm just hoping I win the third one as well because I really need the zeta. I have uh, so far given one Zeta to uh, General Skywalker and I really want to give the uh, either the uh, the chosen one Zeta or the the basic Zeta I want to, I want to be able to give before the lock lock of the uh, the next the third week of Grand Arena um so by my calculations I think if I win the this season of Grand Arena this week of Grand Arena it should just be enough for me to get uh, in the the next zeta, uh, so it's going to make a difference. Uh, you know whether I go in with two zetas on my uh, general Skywalker or just one zeta um, into the third week, but um, but yeah, let's uh, let's just uh, hope that the uh, that the next match we are able to uh, do a decent job and uh, and pull the victory. Let's see, we've also got some feats. We've collected a separatist feat and. Grand Arena territories. All right, okay. So that's uh, that's it for uh, for this session of uh, Grand Arena. Uh, join me in a couple of days, where we will uh, hopefully go for the victory for this week. Um, so, um, yep. Uh, hopefully, I think the the opponents that we have are going to be uh, pretty good, pretty formidable. We've got one from GSF Alpha and one from AWA Mandalore. So hopefully, it'll be a it'll be a good match. All right, I'll catch you guys in a couple of days. Talk to you later.